Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Digital Experience team. Uh, this is our iteration release video going over what we have done uh, for the last two weeks. Today is Thursday, July 29th. Uh, and I believe up first is Tyler. Yeah, I got a few things done here. Um, first, uh, so implemented the cache busing for our slippers entry points. So that's the JavaScript and the CSS uh, index files there. Um, so they're pinned now to the slippers version. Um, and then after that, after going through that process, um, I took a little bit of time and we had a like site-wide cash busting issue for like all of our assets. It's a much bigger lift. Uh, and so I promoted that issue to an Epic and also sort of sketched out some ideas about like how we might do that and what would be required uh, to accomplish that task. Um, and with uh, along with an alternate plan. So there's two options there as far as I see them. Um, I don't know if that's making it anywhere beyond that. So, you know run with it or don't run with it but um i said i would i would put some thoughts and i did so it's there um and then after that the big one for me uh was deployed the new comparison infographic across our devops tools um and so oh and if you wouldn't mind showing it yeah this is the um gitlab versus github page um it's so beautiful thank you tina for such an excellent uh design I'm super stoked on it um it doesn't it's just the top part the bottom part is still the old one um but yeah uh so that's up and then um oh i also we had talked at the beginning of this iteration about like what do we do with the home page i drafted an mr for just removing it and going back to the old one and i asked the folks responsible for home page like are we good to go so like at any point if we're ready to revert gitlab 14 banner on the home page we can just merge it in uh but i don't know whose call that is. And I've asked a few folks and haven't heard back. So uh, that's ready to go. And up next is Barker. Right. Uh, removed the handbook separation working group. So that's no longer in the handbook. And we do have an MR where we're proposing a new marketing site architecture. Um, and this is open, transparent. Um, so hop in there and provide your feedback. Um, really exciting to see um, what direction we go in here. Um, I tried to add a Google Analytics tracker to our videos, deployed it, and then our videos stopped working. So I reverted it, um, circled back on that one. <laughs> Um, big thing I did was I built the solutions template in Slippers. It was a very, kind of you can see the series of MRs I did there to build this and how I broke it out. Um, so here's the new template in slippers. Uh, it's cool, beautiful, looks good. And this is MVC one. So there'll probably be some more adjustments later down the road. After we deployed that one in slippers, um, I deployed the template and actually built the new public sector page um, in production. And that was a big MR. So here it is. It's live. Um, all the contents pulled from a single data file. Super cool. And up next is Javier. Hi, everybody. Um, I worked on a couple things. One is this big old stale MR for changing how scaling works within Tailwind CSS. Um, long story short, let's have our height and other related um, utilities that aren't margin and padding use the same scale as what's in uh, slippers foundations so that's like a big deal to make sure that like if we're if we're using spacing like 24 48 etc um, those utilities will follow that same standard rather than using what tailwind comes for default there's lots of like little things that are breaking, breaking like regressions because of that. So I'm like trying to like put out the little holes here and there. Um, in resolution with that, I'm lumping in a ton of like little card changes because I am touching a lot of little files little, um, all over the <laughs> slippers repository. So I figured that this would be a good place to just lump a lot of the card stuff. And Tina, I'll probably ask for a review um, tomorrow. <laughs> for those little, little things that we have figured out. Um, in regards to the navigation, I went along and implemented some changes. 
a lot of it is a code refactor. So this um, is completely built with uh, ERB. And so the templating is built with ERB. It's also separated into a data file. So that means that like all of this is being pulled from navigation.yaml, uh, which is exciting, which means that it's easy for us to switch things in the navigation. Um, code, like uh, UI-wise, uh, just having login hover. And then also, I'm just going to use inspect to do this. Um, when we get to this boy, um, the drop downs now invert. And then when you click on another item, the other one closes. So little, little, little adjustments here and there. Um, but again, most of it was on the code side, which will help us make iterations in the future. Oh, I just stopped sharing. Um, up next, as soon as I figure this out, I'm just gonna share my desktop. It's gonna be uh, Nathan. Yeah, where was I? One sec. Now I'm lost too. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, so I had onboarding for the first week. I uh, finished that up. That was a lot more videos than I thought it was going to be. Um, but anyway, it's all done. Uh, and then we launched the reverse tiers pricing experiment. We put it on hold because of some of the issues we've been seeing, like the caching issues, which we ended up did see on the pricing page, but hopefully knock on wood, it's, it's all solved now. Um, I think we're going to run it till maybe next Wednesday. That'll be two weeks. And then look at the results and Right now, the numbers seem the same. So I'm assuming it's safe to merge, but we'll figure that out next week. There's another homepage banner. Uh, it was a Google one that went up for a couple of days. And then now it's back to the commit one. Uh, and then I think on the third and fourth, we're gonna switch it over to a different one while it's ongoing. And then we're gonna switch it back to something after. So it's gonna be a lot of homepage banner changes. Um, and then I started working on some of our OKR pages. Uh, so Steven and I have actually been working pretty close the last week uh, and this, I guess the first one's the topics page. Um, right now it's just on the review app because I need to do some style changes, but it looks updated. <laughs> it's using slippers now. The, the existing one was that big purple header that we're all familiar with. Uh, so that's exciting. And then the next two pages are enterprise and small business. They're fairly similar. Uh, we didn't make too many changes here, just kind of a in the middle section. Yeah, this part with the three icons and the three kind of subheadings added that and just cleaned up a bit. Also did some mobile work. I still have to do a bit more, but uh, hoping to get that wrapped up by Friday. Uh, Steven, I don't know if you have anything you want to add to that. Uh, just uh, the topics landing page is uh, MVC one. We we had some discussions with uh, Jeff around some stuff about what we would like to do, but we're just sort of limited with some of the data that we have right now. Um, and then for enterprise and SMB, um, the main task was to clear up that kind of janky interaction that was on the second the sort of subsection. Um, so yeah, Nathan's done that and done a pretty good job of that and cleaned it up and then bringing in some of our icons set as well. Um, and yeah, I think, again, just small changes that are all subject to change in the future as well. And next is Tina. Tina, Tina next. yes, yeah. yes, yeah, there um, you go. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, I picked up a couple of Jess's issues while she's on PTO. Uh, the first one is an iteration on the pricing page uh, to add a marketplace CTA. So this meant uh, revisiting the CTA banner from I think last iteration or the one before and replacing it with um, CTA cards uh, to support the two different messages. Um, this has been approved and is uh, ready to ship. Uh, the other issue was uh, also one of Jess's issue was an iteration on the homepage to include some <clears throat> social proof. So I added a rotating um, brag wall. I'll wait till that loads um, just to display some awards, um, some award and recognition badges right there. Um, and then beneath that, uh, we all are also adding some compliance and security badges. And then uh, last item for this release was an update to our Figma file to include the Tailwind text sizes to each label. So um, engineers can find fonts while inspecting our files. And that's it. And Laura. Yeah, uh, so I built a dropdown in Slippers, so a new Slippers component um, that will be used in the install page um, with our uh, navigation. Um, so yeah, this is the slippers component. Um, it is a dropdown. I'm more proud of it than I should be because 
anyone who's tried to style a drop down knows that it's all browser defaults until you actually like rebuild it from scratch, which I did in Vue. So now I know Vue. Um, I know it better than I would have ever known it because of this drop down. And uh, yeah, so that'll be in the install page soon. Um, and then I worked with Tina. One of the things that came out of those um, font sizes was we wanted to add an extra extra small font size. So this will show our font stack and right below heading five, you can see the little baby all caps one there. So that's our extra extra small 10 pixel font. Um, so that's in there as well. Um, and then I did some work on the install page. This is not ready to go yet. Um, we had some kind of fires to put out over this iteration, but that will be finished up shortly. Still working on the mobile version. Um, and then we released the demo page. Um, so that's the last one. Yeah, this one was a mostly a reskin, um, but it looks a little bit closer to some of our new pages. And if you wanted to go fill out that form, um, you'll see the, the new demo video is uploaded there as well as um, that whole page has been rebuilt as well. So it's a little bit nicer. Um, and I think that is it for all of us. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.